welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee, if you are new here. I am so happy to have you. Today, we are going to do a cardio sculpt class. It will be 30 minutes and challenging, but also available for those who like low impact cardio. So my style of teaching cardio is starting with a low impact option so that you get a feel for the movement and then we up level from there if you would like to. We're not gonna use any equipment today. I am wearing shoes today just because that is my preference. So do whatever feels good for you and your body. All right, let's start with a warm up. We'll take our feet a little bit wider than hips width, soft bend in the knees, and we'll just start with shoulder rolls. So rolling the shoulders, starting to open the chest, the front body. Breathing. So throughout class, I will cue you to breathe a lot. And know that you always have control over how you feel by manipulating your breath. Switch the direction of your shoulder rolls. So the longer, slower, deeper breaths that you take, the more in control of your heart rate you will be. Keeping that in mind as we move. All right, coming back through center, we're gonna reach over towards the left with the right hand, find a little twist through the torso, and then switch sides, twist over to the right with the left arm. Right arm, left. So starting with some rotation, working in the transverse plane. You should feel this in your obliques, your back. You can pivot off of the heel as you twist. Keep breathing. Here's four, three, two, one. Come through center. We're going to drop the hands down, come into a little squat. Sweep the arms all the way up. Dropping down and sweeping up. So good. Here's eight. Here's six. Here's four. We're going to take it to running in place, in two, in one right here. Hands can be at your heart, just run it out. So starting to elevate the heart rate, core is slightly engaged here. All right, let's take it to butt kickers, really drive the heel in towards your glute and hamstring. Squeeze, squeeze. You should feel this length in the front side of your legs. In, in. All right, jumping jacks, three, two, one. Out, in. Breathe. Jack, jack. Heart rate is getting up there. Keep breathing. Eight more, here's eight. Seven, six. Five, here's four. We're gonna take it to skaters. We'll start to the right. Into one right here. To the right, hop to the left. Right and left. Keep breathing. I like to tap my opposite hand down, but you do whatever feels good. Maybe you tap the back foot or you hover it. Here's eight. Here's six. Here's four. Three, two, one. Come through center, let's find a squat. Just a regular full range squat. Feet about hips width. Warming up the legs. Down, up, beautiful. Here's eight, six, here's four. We're gonna hold it low. Right here, hold it low, little pulse down. So you're sending your booty back. Your spine stays straight, you are hinged slightly forward. So good. We're gonna tap one foot out at a time, not yet, in four, three, We'll hold low in the legs. Two, one, right, left. 
tap, tap. You've got it. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Then we're going to leave the right foot out. We'll turn it towards one end of the mat. Find a lunge. Next time, right foot out. Spin towards the back of the mat. Find a lunge. Inhale to reach the arms up. Tap the foot, or tap the knee rather. And then exhale, stand. Arms come by the sides. Continuing to warm up here. Bend and lift. Four more. Here's four. We hold it low. We'll find a twist. In two. In one, hold it low. Left hand will go down. Right arm will go up. Option, lift the left knee. Big breath in. Twist a little bit deeper. Breath out. One more here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back through center. Turn towards the long edge of the mat. Step your right foot in. Same thing, we'll tap, tap. Left, right. Moving to the other side. In four, three, two, one. Left foot stays out, turn towards the foot. Feet hips width. We'll sweep it down. Exhale it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, breathe. Lower. Lift so good. Down and up. Here's four. We'll hold it low. We'll find that twist in three, in two, in one. Hold it low. Right hand will plant, left hand will lift. Maybe lift your right knee. Find your twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful. Inhale. Come through your lunge. Turn towards the long edge of your mat this time. Heels in, toes out. Sit low. Hands to your thighs. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, dip your right shoulder down. Gaze to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Again. Twist. Last one. Twist. Beautiful. Come through center. Push into the feet. Stand up. Come to one end of your mat. I'm going to start at the top. We're going to find a bear shape. We'll walk it laterally to the back of the mat, so that means side to side. Knees will stay lifted. So plant your hands, knees under hips. They're lifted. Your core is engaged. We're going to walk it out, 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 out to the back of the mat, then switching sides. So it's back, back, forward, forward. It's easiest to walk opposite hand and foot at the same time. Forward and back. Keep breathing. Your core is engaged. So good, so good. Give me eight more like this. Here's eight, seven, six, five. We'll add on in four. When we get to one end of the mat, we're going to kick the opposite foot over to the side right here. So left foot out, right hand behind the head. Come back to your bear shape. Walk it. Front of the mat, switch sides. Right foot out. In, back, back. Woo! My shoulders are already on fire from this one. Core is working. Kick to the back. To the back. Kick. Obliques are working here as well. Kick. You've got it. Give me eight more. Here's eight. Here's six. Here's four. Three, two, one, keep it to the side, connect, thigh to elbow. So for me, it's my right leg, left elbow, you could be on the other side. Four, three, we're going back to that side to side, in two, 
in one, right foot down, back, back, kick to the front. Just one more like that. Then we'll keep the other foot out. Connect elbow to thigh right here. Pull, pull, breathe, pull, pull. Four more, here's four. Three, two, one. Come back through center. Awesome job. We're gonna stand up. When you are ready, face the top of the mat. Step your feet about hips width. We're just gonna start with a reverse lunge. We'll step left foot back, then right. Into one. Left foot, forward, right foot, forward. Right spine straight, core engaged. You're moving one foot back at a time. So good. Back, back, breathe, back. Here's four. We're gonna add on. We'll pull one knee into the chest as we stand right here. Knee in, knee in. So you're still switching sides every time. Now you're driving the knee into the chest before you step it down. In, in, so good, in. Let's add on one more time in four. When we come to that lunge, we're gonna tap the ground, find a little hop, in two, in one, starting left foot. So we'll tap it down, little hop, tap it down, Knee up, switch sides, right foot, tap, little hop, knee up, breathe, left, little jump, tap, knee up, lots of moving parts here. If you mess up, come right back into it, reset, you've got this, jump. If the jumping isn't working for you, you just stay with that regular lunge, that first version. Back, hop, lift. So good, we're almost there. Down, up. You could also just lift your heels. Lift, lift, so good, back. Jump. Back, jump. Woo! You've got this. Lift. Lift. Quads are on fire. Let's do eight more like this. Here's eight. Really explode up. Lift. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. One, keep it at the top of the mat, squat. Lift, lower. Here's eight. Breathe. Here's six, four more, here's four. Three, we'll take this to a squat jump. In two, one, jump, jump. Option, you just lift the heels, low impact. Jump, land with bent knees, you've got it. Here's eight. Here's six. Option, we'll tap one arm down, then lift it as we jump. In two, one, tap, lift. So good, so good. Breathe. We're almost there. 
Give me four more. You're done. Four. Three. Here's two. Here's one, both sides. And you are done. Tap, tap, side to side. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Slow your heart rate down. Come back to your breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. One more here. And we'll move on to burpees. A new little burpee sequence. But we're gonna start in a down dog shape. We'll bend the knees, find a down dog squat. Pull one knee into the chest. Let's do it. Meet me in your down dog. Hands forward, hips back. We're gonna start by bending the knees similar to that bear shape. Shoot forward to a plank. Bend, shoot forward. Bend, shoot forward. All right, you wanna level up. Bring one knee into the chest. Right here, right knee, left knee. Back, forward. Feel your core working as you pull a knee into the chest. Back and forward. Here's eight. Here's six, and we'll take it to a burpee. We'll keep the same flow. After each knee pull, we'll jump up to the feet, jump up to the sky, right here. So we bend, jump, jump, hands down, jump it back, bend the knees, right, left, jump, jump, hands down, jump back, right, left, jump, jump, woo, so good, here's four, here's three, here's two, here's one, just that beginning, back, forward, bend, straighten, all right, let's add the knees, starting left, right here, Right, left, breathe, four more. We add that jump. After the right knee pulls in, we'll jump it up. Right here, back, jump, lift, hands down, back, knee, knee, jump, jump. Woo, you got it. Here's eight, here's six, here's four, three, two, last one, get it, jump, jump, woo, stay standing, step, step, awesome job, deep breath in, long breath out. Again, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. All right, we're gonna take it to a tabletop. We'll do some booty. Also, slow it down a little bit. A little bit more arms, soft bend in your elbows. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders or in front, depending on your wrists and your body. Core is engaged. We're gonna start with a kick back with the right leg. Draw the knee back to the ground. Up, down. So a little bit faster than we normally start this tabletop booty sequence. We're not gonna be here for super long, but it will be challenging. So stick with it. Keep breathing. Core stays engaged this whole time. Here's eight, seven, Six, and we're gonna add a push up as we lift the leg. In four, three, we'll bend the elbows. In two, in one right here, bend, tap. Bend, tap. Woo, so good, so good. Bend, bend, tap. 
bend, bend. You've got it. Eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four more. Here's four. Then we're going to add a knee pull, right knee to the right elbow as we lift. Next time, down, knee in, down, in. Use your obliques. Down, in. Woo! So good, so good. You've got it. Here's eight. Here's six. Then we're gonna keep it low. We'll pulse right leg up to the sky. In two. In one right here, a little pulse up. Lift, you're just holding that push-up shape in the arms. Lift, lift, that looks so good. Lift, lift, keep breathing. Arms are shaking, I know. Give me eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four more. Here's four, three, then we're gonna switch sides in two. In one, right here, right knee down. Left heel pulls in, soft bend in your elbows, same thing. Kick back, right here, lift, lift. I am dripping sweat, I hope you are too. Squeeze your left glute, come back to your breath. Find that mind muscle connection with your left glute. So feel it working as you lift. Yes, you've got it. Here's eight, seven, six, five, and lot that push up in four, three, two, one, right here, bend, bend, kick, kick, left glute on fire, bend, bend, you've got it. Eight more like these. Eight, seven, six, five. Core stays strong. Here's four. We add that knee pull when we lift. In two, in one. Knee in, kick. In, kick. Back, forward. Yes, back, forward. Really squeeze, left obliques, down, up, woo, down, up. Here's eight, six, we're gonna hold it low, find a pulse in three, two, one, hold it low, pulse the leg, lift. Arms are just holding in that push up, lift, lift, yes, lift. All right, here's eight, six. We're gonna find one set of push-ups, option knees or toes. In two, in one, right here, get it. Feet back, either knees down or toes, lower lift. Down, up, bend, extend. Really push into your hands. Bend, extend. So good, so good. Give me eight more. Here's eight. Seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, and one. Woo, shake the wrists out. Awesome job. Face the top of the mat. Lower onto your back. Feet are going to be long. You're laying all the way down. We're gonna find a full sit up. Reach the fingers to the toes as we lift. Hands are gonna start overhead. We're gonna move fast, but I want you to still move with control rather than momentum. We'll start slow for the first few. In four, three, dig your heels into the mat. Two, one, we'll lift. Try to tap the toes. Lower, lower, lift. Use your core to lift you rather than your arms. They're just there as an extension of your body, but your abs are doing all the work. 
Yes. Option to stay with this pace or speed it up if you want to. I'm gonna stay right here. Back and forward, breathe. Back and forward, yes. Dig your heels into the mat. Here's eight. Here's four, we're gonna add one knee into the chest as we lift. In two, in one, start right, knee in, knee in, breathe, in, you've got it, in, so good, eight more, six, here's four, then we're going to do both knees, come all the way up to a boat, in two, in one right here, lift to your boat, then lower, lower, lift, and lower, lower, Woo. down, up, up, so good, belly button just fine, your chest is broad, lift, lower, holy core, we're 75% there. Keep going. Lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Here's four, then we're going to keep it down. We're going to take opposite hand to the foot. Tap it above us. Right here, start right foot. Tap. Left. Tap. Option. Stay down, head down or lift, lift, crunch, crunch, so good, crunch, more obliques, belly button to spine, lift, tap, we're almost there, tap, tap, here's four, three, two, one, lower down, woo, you made it. We are going to stretch. You can keep the arms overhead, maybe walk your feet a little bit wider. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out, let it go. Feeling so good right now. Cardio is great for getting that endorphin rush. So good for our cardiovascular health, our heart health. Also great for our breathing. It really shows us that we are in control of our breath, that we always have the power. Let's take one more big breath in here. Exhale, sigh. Beautiful, step your feet in. Take them about hips width. We'll come up into a bridge. You can reach your fingers down by the sides, palms face the ground. And then on your next inhale, press into your heels, start to lift your spine, lift your hips, and then interlace fingers underneath you, stretching shoulders and chest. Head stays heavy, chin is in line with the spine. Couple deep breaths here. Feeling the opening in the front side of the body. So quads, hip flexors, belly, chest. Beautiful, and then gently release. One vertebra at a time, come down to the ground. Windshield wiper the legs to the right. And then over to the left. Back to the right. And to the left, a couple more times like that. Massaging the glutes, finding a gentle twist in the spine. Should feel good on the lumbar spine, the low back. But if it doesn't, readjust where your feet are. Maybe you don't go as deeply to the side. Next time you're at the left, stay there. Let's find a twist. You can either stack one knee on top, cross the right leg underneath the left knee so that it's a little bit more weighted. 
Gaze towards the right hand if that feels okay on your neck and draw your right shoulder into the mat. Maybe closing the eyes, really tap into how you feel right now. And as you notice and observe how you feel, know that you don't have to make any changes to that feeling right now. Simply allowing yourself to be present in this moment in time. Let's switch sides. We'll take the knees over to the right. Find the twist that works in your body. Gaze to the left. Press your left shoulder into the mat to deepen the twist and feel this along the length of your spine. Beautiful. And then come back through center. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Rock and roll up to a seat. Come to cross-legged and you are done. Great time for another stretch. Maybe a Shavasana or a meditation if you have the time. Thank you so, so much for being here with me as always. All of my links will be in the description. So for Afterglow Studio or my website or my Instagram, connect with me. I love to talk to each and every one of you. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment letting me know how it was. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.